What is this symbol called? Correct. It's called Sigma in Greek. In case of Niger's, it's symbol day five. So we call this summation or Sigma, right? It helps us add sequence of numbers. Remember what we said about sequence last year? We said sequence are numbers that are in ascending or descending order, right? Separated with a comma. And then you have ellipses to show that it's unending. It's continuous. Let's be more realistic. Let's say you were asked to sum up the first five integers. That's one, two, three, four, five, right? You're going to say summation i such that i equals one to five. So the number below is where you start from. The number on top is where you end, right? Okay, so you have one plus two plus three plus four plus five, which gives us 15. Know that you could use any any letter in mathematics. It doesn't have to be I, it could be any letter, but we always have the ones that we just use. So we find sigma useful when we're dealing with large numbers or formulas. You'd use them in statistics, calculus, and even algebra. And of course, there would come a time we would show it on the whiteboard. I hope you learned something today. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.